What is it about the ocean that you love so much? I don't really know. I guess I just <laughs> like being in the surf, being in the water. I find it refreshing and then, you know, if, you, uh, if you're having a bit of a bad day, you get in the water and you feel so much better. Cherie Pitt is resilience personified. Her story of recovery of both mind and body is extraordinary. After suffering the most horrific burns and enduring over 200 surgeries, here she is eight years later, as bubbly and as positive as ever. That time in hospital was really, obviously really challenging for myself and my family. Uh, but when I look back at those days now, I actually look back at them with a lot of fondness because they were a really tough time for sure. But I think you really understand how resilient you are when you go through those tough times. So I think I learned a lot about myself as well. Cheria rebuilt her life and is living proof that with the right mindset, you can achieve anything. In the morning when I wake up and I try and remind myself that, you know, what an amazing opportunity to get a fresh day and I think of things that I'm really grateful for in my life. And when I'm in that mindset, it sets up my day in the most positive way. So that's what I try to do. She juggles her life as an author and public speaker with being a mum to two-year-old Huckabye. Huckabye, where's the baby? And baby number two is on its way. I loved your pregnancy announcement too. Very Beyonce style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it out there, yeah. I love it. When are you due? How long do you have to go? Um, due next year in February. How do you think life will change with two babies? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I don't think you can worry about it too much. Like, what will be will be. Just go yeah, with it. Just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Cherie's injuries haven't stopped her from doing the things she loves most. After all, she is an outdoors kind of girl. So I remember in hospital, the doctor said, yeah, you won't be able to be outside in the sun. And I thought, oh, no, but that's, that's part of my life. That's part of my identity. So I still go outdoors. I go outdoors all the time every day. I guess I'm just mindful, like we all should be, you know, wearing long sleeve shirts, wearing hats, wearing sunglasses. Um, and then I wear sunscreen, Aven sunscreen. What is it about the Aven sunscreen that you love so much? Well, first of all, it's formulated for sensitive skin, so it's great for me. I love how it feels. It's, it's light, it's not greasy, it's got a slightly mattifying effect on my skin. And it's SPF 50 plus, so it's amazing for people who live in Australia especially. Why do you choose to affiliate yourself with Aven? Yeah, I guess back in 2013, I went to France for treatment for my skin and they used the Aven products on me. And I just loved how they felt. I loved all of the benefits they gave to my skin. And so when the opportunity came about to work with Aven a little bit closer, I jumped at it. They're such an awesome brand. If you had one piece of advice that you would give to people about their skin and how to look after it, what would it be? Yeah, I think we should all drink a lot more water. Water is so beneficial for our skin. Moisturising, moisturising is so important. I use the event Zero Calm Balm and sunscreen. Every time you go outside, you need to have sunscreen on. I guess I really enjoy my life and I just want to make sure other people are enjoying theirs too. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nothing better, isn't it, when you actually stop and count your blessings? Yeah, exactly.